Hello, friends of Skelevator. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate you being here. Um, today, we're gonna to be having a look at my Matterhorn build. It's come along quite a ways uh, since we talked last. Um, as you know, it's supposed to be based on the Disneyland ride. I've, I've taken a few creative liberties, which is fine for things like this, um, but it's getting there and it's getting really close to being done. I'm almost done and a few little adjustments I wanna make. Um, but you're going to see that here after I'm done talking and you watch the video. And then also, you know, if you have any thoughts or advice or suggestions, please enter those comments down below. Now, I do want to also say thank you all so much for submitting your daily votes to the DIY Hero Contest for me, Ronald Zerigian slash Skelevator. Um, it's really awesome. We've come a long way in this contest, further than I thought I would go. Um, I'm still in first place in my group, and I think we have about two more weeks of voting left. So continue to submit those daily votes. Uh, continue to watch my videos. Be sure to click like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. All right, folks, let's get into it. So at this stage, I've already primed. Well, first I sanded down the lumpy clumps of the plaster coating, and then I've primed it with Kills Primer. Um, and there's Ramona chilling in the back there. And now I've uh, painted the earth color around the base, and then I'm spray painting a base coat of gray. Okay, so once that base coat is dry, then I began adding the wash. And this really helps uh, bring out sort of the cracks and crevices of the, the Matterhorn. And then I can go ahead and, and add lighter colors on top of that to create sort of an illusion of depth to this thing that uh, might occur in nature. All right, so once the wash is done, then I give it a light dusting of gray again, um, just to add a little bit of depth there. And then I'm adding white, but this white is not the snow. Um, this is to add additional highlights, which I will mute later on with, uh, with an earth tone. Okay, so back in the garage, um, I'm having a look at my reference material. The snow kind of stops at that area where the mountain gets wider, um, and the, the gray is, I'm noticing that the gray is just a bit more sort of an earth tone. So I'm covering up the white now, as I mentioned before, covering up the white with the earth tone to give this thing a bit more depth. And you're gonna see how how uh, it really begins to come alive as I do this. And later in the day, um, once that the earth tone has dried, then I'm adding the snow. Um, one trick that I've learned from making this build, if you want the snow to look realistic, you brush the snow across, and I was doing it from the left to the right, across the edges of the, 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 the rocky face of the mountain uh, to give it a little bit more of a realistic uh, dusting of snow look. And this is it uh, pretty much completed, um, but now I need to add some, some dirt and some trees and I've got some of my supplies left over from my earliest build, so I was happy to not have to go out and, and, and buy stuff for this. Um, that tree is a little, that tree's way too big for this, but um, I've got a rock there and some, some sort of light moss, light colored moss and uh, some dark colored moss. 
And then I'm going to also add some dirt that uh, I'm just gonna grab from outside too. But here are the trees that are a little bit more um, reasonably sized for this mountain. So uh, yeah, I'm real excited to put these in. So here are the supplies I'm using to create dirt and grass here. Um, I've got my regular Elmer's glue. I've got a cup full of real dirt right there from my backyard. And some of the Elmer's glue is mixed with water there to dilute it. Now, some folks like to spray it on. I like to paint it on and dribble it over the material once the base is dried to secure everything. Um, I just feel like I have a bit more control in this way. And now it's time to add some trees. So I just take this tool and I pierce a hole. Um, sometimes you gotta make the hole a little bit bigger as you'll see here, um, but really it's great. You just pierce a hole through there. If it's a styrofoam base, you'll make a little entry point for the tree trunk and uh, drip a little glue in there. And then the tree should fit right in. Um, usually it's a quick process. I, I use my tweezers to get the trunk in there and sometimes it's, it's immediately standing up straight and sometimes it just takes a while. So in rummaging through my supplies, I ran across these. I had almost forgotten that I had bought them, these Woodland Scenics little people. Um, and it wouldn't be one of my builds without a little odd humor in there. Um, I decided against the sidewalk that normally goes around the Matterhorn at Disneyland uh, simply because I wanted a more naturalistic environment. But when I ran across these these people, I thought that's a little bit funny to have these these people that look like they're dressed to go to church um, wandering around the wilderness at the base of this uh, this mountain. Um, and here's this other guy. He almost looks like he's checking his phone or something, which I think is pretty hilarious. Um, and he came with a, a kid too, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in too. All right, so now let's take a tour around the base of this mountain. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. I, as you can see, I added a little bit of snow to the tops of the trees. Um, I added a few extra little stones and uh, a few logs and uh, gravel. And I, I really like the way the moss and the grass, so the dry patches and the, 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 the fuller little bushes really adds a realistic quality to this. I, I'm, I'm really happy I ran across those little figurines um, because that definitely adds a surrealist quality to this thing, which, which I just think is hilarious and a little bit weird. Um, but I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I really can't say this enough. I, I appreciate you all so very much uh, for tuning in, checking out the video. If you have any comments or suggestions, um, please do enter them in the comments below. I love hearing your advice and hearing your ideas, and it also helps me formulate uh, approaches to my future projects. Um, so yeah, do click like and subscribe, um, make a comment below, tell your friends about Skelevator. And also, if you're one of the folks that are voting for Ronald Zerigian slash Skelevator in the DIY Hero Contest, please continue to do so. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.